Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about wireless charging. Now what is wireless charging? Wireless charging is basically application of wireless energy transfer, which I'm going to explain as well. Basically you take one of these wireless charging pads and wireless charging enabled phone and you just simply uh, put that like this and it starts charging. You can see on this phone it says charging wirelessly. Uh, here you go and I hope it focuses uh, here you could see it says charging wirelessly and I also created uh, a loop connected with some uh, LED light and you could see is and it flashes because it's not drawing enough power but it is there you just have to make some coil loop uh, some lube with uh, your the wire and just <laughs> put it like this on the charging pad and it starts working but it doesn't work uh, very well because it's first not designed for this and second it's not drawing enough power so how does wireless charging work wireless charging is basically uh, similar to as I explained in my earlier video about RFID or NFC it's basically uh, you can see uh, this is the sender circuit and is connected to a coil and this is the receiver circuit and it's also connected to a coil that happens on an AC signal because tr transformers don't work on DC uh, if you don't know that uh, just in case so what happens is that there, there is an AC signal, uh, sinusoidal uh, voltage or any AC signal, uh, very high frequency AC signal. And when, whenever the receiver, uh, uh, in this case it's a smartphone, it comes uh, in the sender's range. It induces an AC voltage into the, uh, into the receiver uh, coil and that's when an AC current runs through it and, and then the receiver gets the uh, uh, the power. You might be asking that well smartphones charge on DC well I'm gonna explain that in a second. So what happens is you power your uh, a adapter from uh, from the wall which is uh, 220 volts AC and that steps the, the adapter steps it down and converts it into DC as you can see the output of the adapter is DC and then it goes to the wireless charger there's an inverter circuit inside a wireless uh, charger that converts a DC in, back into AC and that AC signal goes to the sender coil the coil I talked about and that AC signal is induced in the receiver uh, coil and then that AC signal goes to a rectifier circuit this is basically the start of your smartphone and the receiver uh, the receiver coil, the secondary coil, uh, gets the AC signal from the sender side and then uh, it feeds in into the uh, bridge rectifier circuit and then that bridge rectifier circuit converts in into DC and then uh, your smartphone gets charged and then you could use it. You could see that uh, there are a lot of stages in this and that's why a wireless energy transfer is not that efficient. Of course nowadays you're getting uh, 50 watts, uh, I've seen up to 50 watts or maybe 60 watts or 55 watts whatever uh, it is but uh, the thing is that it takes a lot of input power to produce that uh, 55 or 60 watts of output. This is the con of uh, wireless energy transfer. Of course we're using wireless energy transfer in our uh, like uh, cellular signals, Wi-Fi and other wireless technologies in power uh, it is not very efficient. We are already using a lot of power in uh, communications but in the case of charging it is very inefficient but uh, still people are using it and it is very convenient that your smartphone starts charging but uh, it is very inefficient and inefficiency means uh, it is damage to the planet. I hope you liked this video. If so, then like, share and subscribe and click on the notification bell. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.